What is going on guys today? I'm very excited. We're taking a look at a cool new product from a Canadian company. Got to represent Canada uh, wherever you can buy local, support local businesses, support small businesses. Uh, this one specifically for you TCG lovers, which at this point is probably everyone that watches this channel, right? Um, so very stoked. We reached out to them, got in contact, shared our excitement, and they sent us a sweet new product. Now, for those that don't know me very well, you might know that I am a bit of a display whore. Um, I don't know if I could show you this very well, but above my desk, there's a bunch of product and boxes and, and I've got the Sam makes cool stuff. Retro lands up there. Uh. Just hanging out. Um, I really like having cool magic products on display in my space. And this is going to be a bit of a game changer for those looking to display their cards or their collections, or if they just want to cement um, a favorite deck of theirs even, because this is very, very cool. Comes ready to go out of, out of the box. Basically what this company in Ontario is doing, um, I haven't even mentioned the company, Pro TCG Frames. Very, very cool. Um, very awesome. They are in the Stanley Creek area of Ontario. So small town Ontario, even if you want to get even more nitty gritty, but got to love when the companies are kind of trying to fill a gap, a product gap where stuff isn't really available and everything kind of seems daunting from a collector or framers point of view. So what they do is they make these. So this is a, what I assume is just a basic Ikea frame. And what they do is they um, attach hard to slot holders in the frame on the backdrop. And mine is like super broken, which is really unfortunate. Um, I don't know if you can see that very well there, but uh, completely snapped and the pins holding the back together have come out. This corner is completely cracked, um, which is super unfortunate, but I'm still very excited. Oh, that's got really roughed up. OK, let's just open this up and see if we can salvage this at all um i'm assuming this is oh that just broke right off okay i'm assuming this is a shipping issue um which is kind of a bummer that even with a lot of bubble wrap and some protective shipping it did not make it all the way here intact but I'm still excited regardless. I think it'll clean up okay. It's not terrible, but it is a little rough. Yeah, that's not gonna look very nice on the wall. This has got a huge, like the plastic portion, the front cover has been like ripped up and dinged because of the pins. And I, I could probably hide the wood crack there with some Sharpie. Um, you know, I'm kind of bummed, to be honest. We're going to we're going to set this bad boy up anyway, just to kind of see. Um, don't mind the glossy look on here. It's just the protective coating that like Ikea and other companies put on their plastic. Um, picture frames so that comes off and it looks really clear and nice but what we've got to do first is slot in some cards so we've got five rows of five and as you guys know i'm a bit of a land whore so i've got a handful of full land sets here um 
I'm trying to think if there's five we need to do. Should we do single sets or double sets? Because everything recently has come with like two forests, two mountains, two swamps. So we've got an uneven number here. Maybe we do. Hmm. That was a tough choice. Let me look. Even the Lord of the Rings ones. So those are all doubles. The Dominaria ones are really beautiful. Maybe we could do Dominaria. Um, the Phyrexian full art ones. Which I don't know if I have in here. We could also maybe do how many sets of the black and white ones are there? There's only four, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah. So we can't even do those. Um, let me think. What should, what should we put in there? I should have had this more prepared. These are unfinished sets. Everything's double. Everything's a double. Uh, okay, so let's grab. Let's do the Kamigawa. I'm just going to re-sleeve these a little bit so that um, they're all in the same sleeves. I'll probably just do these inner sleeves so that we've got a little bit of gloss, but not a ton. And they're still kind of protected in there. So we're just going to re-sleeve these real fast. Um, yeah, so I'm super bummed that it got absolutely mangled on the way here. Does not deter my excitement very much. Um, I think that maybe even I could go to an Ikea and replace it. But considering that they're not free products, if you were to pick one up, um, do keep in mind that... There is a bit of a challenge with shipping, apparently. And, you know, unfortunately, these post services are notorious for terribly handling things. And I didn't see a fragile label on the bag, the, can, the package, which I guess could be something maybe I suggest to pro TCG frames in the future, maybe deter people a little bit. Um, and put a fragile label on the package. I don't know. I'm assuming that's doable. You just get fragile stickers, right? Right. I don't know. So, okay. I'm almost done with this. We're just going to do a couple more of these. So right now I have three rows figured out. Um, I guess we could do the Dominar or the, was it Brothers War? Yeah, the Brothers War ones. Those ones are pretty hype. So we take these, we go, gotta do Wooberg order, of course. Okay, this is a little bit more tricky than I was hoping it would be. Oh, are these just like, I think these are just normal sleeves with the bottom cut out. So I'm not gonna be able to put a full size sleeve Hard in there. I might have to do inners. Let me check now. Let me check. We're just trying to slot. Yeah, there we go. So you slot it in like that. Um, let's do forest. Ooh, 
我。My my monitors just went black. Hello. Oh, my computer just really tried to go to sleep on me. So I had a nightmare reformatting scenario. The other day. Okay, these are really tricky to get in while I'm like propping them up and, and holding them there. So keep in mind that you might need two sets of hands, maybe. Um Yeah, I think I think the company is selling these for Sixty dollars. They were on sale recently, um, and I understand that like time and effort uh, takes into account the prices on things. But as far as like overall quality goes, I do feel like it's a bit much to ask for sixty dollars, almost a hundred dollars with shipping and everything. Um, for something that you know isn't I'm I'm trying to be diplomatic because I know that it is difficult to hand make these things. Um they're obviously a small team, like probably working out of their home or garage. And I think that that deserves some credence. And I respect that. But I do wonder how much um, what their profit margins are after cost of materials. Some of these aren't even going in. This sleeve thing seems to be broken. Um, come on now. There we go. As long as it stays in there and goes into the frame, I guess it doesn't really matter if the sleeves that have been glued to this backboard kind of hold up all that much. At least it's like meticulously measured. I think that would have been a real bummer if these were less perfectly aligned. I think that would have been hard to kind of get behind. But again, this is like a small group of people, probably like a family or someone just doing this as like a hobby or for fun. Um, and I have to respect the, the effort trying to fill a bit of a gap in the market. Um, I got really excited when I saw these because I thought, hey, that's a relatively inexpensive, already set up way to frame your cards, frame your your deck. Obviously, these will fit any traditional um, North American sized trading cards. So if you're a Pokemon fan or a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, um, those will all fit in here as well if you want to frame the first set of the Lorcana cards. That's also very good. Um, myself and a few of my acquaintances online are just basic land collectors. So it's really nice to have the fact that these are rows of five are perfect because then I don't have to worry about, um, you know, unevenness. I've had to, my Bob Ross um, art lands in the I've kept them in the box since I got that secret layer and I've just been kind of waiting for an opportunity to open them and and frame them but again it's like five it's it's almost um, 
laughable how few products out there hold five cards. A lot of the Etsy frames um, have even numbered rows, so it's very difficult. Obviously, like stuff like Michael's doesn't carry anything that kind of fits this bill. So this is This is it, fully fully ready to go. Uh, we're gonna take the other half of the kind of cover off and frame it back up and see what it looks like. Yeah, this is really unfortunate how, how it arrived. Um, and then I've got, oh, there's like a full crack there. That's rough. Um, Yeah, bit of a bummer. But let's um, put this back in the frame and see what it looks like. Uh oh, some of my lands shifted a little bit. Probably easier to do this the other way around. So let's flip it over. Ah! Or not. Maybe it's not easier. Probably easier to do this on a table than try to manhandle your way around things on your lap in front of a camera. But what, hey, what you do in front of a camera is none of my business. Hopefully, this is just an IKEA frame and I can go and replace it using this backdrop um, in a frame of this proportion. Like I'm going to be excited to kind of make the best out of this. Oh my God. Okay. That's just being torn up. Come on now. I need to open this back up again. Jeez, frustrating. But, oh my God, did it get cat caught again? It did. Okay. Dexterity difficulties aside, that one broke off. So we've got an almost intact product. I like it. I think it, it serves its purpose. Oh, and of course my land got shifted. It looks real nice. Um, hey, there's you guys. I think this is going to look really cool. Hold on one second. Let me put it up on my shelf. I think that's going to look really cool uh, up on the wall, even if Hopefully, if you do decide to shop at Pro TCG Frames, uh, yours will arrive intact. Um, yeah, that's that's what I've got. It's a really cool Canadian company. Um, aside from a little bit of quality control and maybe a bit of a steeper price tag than I would expect with the quality. Um, I think it's awesome to just have something shipped to you that's ready to go. In theory, keep in mind that, you know, most of the damages are shipping faults, um, Canada Post, whatever. So having something that's ready to go out of the box, ready to frame up and put on a wall is, is really, really cool. Uh, definitely check them out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I want to do a little bit more product uh, videos, talk about some of the things that I use on the daily, some of the things that I like. And, you know, we're going to start talking about deck boxes and sleeves and, and yada yada. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you're not. We're getting a lot of likes and a lot of views. And I, and I love you all for being here and giving me some space in your life. Um, but it would really help us out if you could subscribe to the channel so we can get that number up and 
you know, gain access to uh, to some more things on the back end and keep making these videos for you guys. So I, I hope to see you all soon. I hope you're having a great day. I hope all of your opponents mulligan and I hope you see a cute dog and say something nice to someone else. Say something nice to yourself. Really important. Say something nice to yourself next time you look in the mirror. I love you. Thank you for being here. Bye. TCG frames. Pro TCG frames. From Canada. Shipping sucks.